it's from putting this on is really bad. I, like she says, I fully perform with bass and field hands, so um, this is new for me to play acoustic guitar in front of folks. And uh, so thanks, this is great. Um, but I was uh, working up a song uh, for the bands, and um, normally on, I work them up on acoustic guitar. And I was, you know, I was working on this song for like two or three weeks, and, and I kept coming back to it and going away from it. And uh, I finally finished it, and I was we were gonna have a we were gonna have a rehearsal that night, and I thought I'd bring it in. And uh, I was trying the second song because it's nice to come up with two songs, then they can reject one. So. Um, uh, but I didn't have a second song, and, and as I was sitting there, there was all these photographs sort of scrolling on my computer. And one was of an old friend from a particular time in my life when I uh, lived in New York. You know, like lived in New York City for a while, and it was after college, and I was in my 20s. And, and, like, and, and it was sort of uh, a tough time for me. It was one of those times where it was really beautiful and really awful at the same time. You were 20s, essentially. And, uh, and, and so I had, I had been working as a maintenance carpenter for a, a, a real estate company that basically they managed buildings throughout. So I was doing this sort of like handyman work for them. And uh, I saw this photograph of my friend who had worked with me and I thought about this time. And uh, there was, they, what this, this group of people got together and they formed this little company that would, would manage buildings all over Manhattan. It was uh, distressed buildings, you know, Films that were falling apart, absentee landlords and such, and uh, lots of drug dealing going on, and and uh, these were ex hippies, uh, college radicals that decided to get into real estate. This is the 1980s, so this is the age of Reagan. So they're thinking, let's cash in and make some money, and um, they had taken over two uh, buildings in uh, Lower Harlem, 138th and after that two seven-story tenement buildings for tenements. And uh, the tenements were really having a hard time. They had lost a super six months previously who had fallen mysteriously off the roof. So, so they, um, they didn't have a super in this building. And, and then they were thinking, like, who can we get that's naive and desperate enough to take this job? And I think at that moment, while they were having that meeting over that, that's when I walked in. And, and I was all 25 and very green, and I really needed a job. And so they, uh, they gave it to me, and I took it. So 100 bucks a week, and uh, free, a free apartment, which was pretty good. And um, I then inherited these two buildings that I had to take care of. Um, and, and what I found out later as well, in the wintertime, was that there was one boiler that controlled the heat to both buildings, and that boiler would go out pretty much every other night. So I would get all these phone calls, and I would have to go out at three in the morning, walk down three floors of my stairs, go out of my building, because the boiler was in the other building, and then I would go out along the sidewalk, and then I would walk up, and then I would go up the stoop, and then I would go in, and then I would go on this long walk, and then I would slog it through and get the thing started again and go back to bed. So that was my winter there. And, um, uh, but the one thing about it was that it was so quiet at that time at night at three in the morning in Lower Harlem. It was so beautiful and there was no one around and there was these hallways that were empty and um, they would echo with every footstep and it was, it was really um, so, so beautiful. And um, I had just recently broken up with, an old, with my colleague's girlfriend, and I was very, very lonely. And um, anyway, that's what I saw when I saw my friend's face on the computer. And then this song came tumbling out. So now I have two songs. So I brought this one in, and I like this one better. So it's so pretty. <laughs> You're pretty and your vein shine like winter in the rain. Feel a different kind of pain when you're pretty and when you're vain. I looked down and fell 
Yes, you are crazy. And you are vain. One day I woke up to feel the strain of living each day inside your flame. Yes, you are pity. Crime has been committed. 